Hi you guys. I'm out in the hills today. I'm right behind my house, a little bit out of breath because I've just climbed quite a big hill to get about halfway up to where I'm going. You can see the top behind me up there. I just wanted to give you an idea of some of the things I do on my days off. I came out here today, I, I come out here a lot to collect plants and things for um, the store, but, but a lot for our house and the people that see me as clients too. So I have a client tomorrow that I think might benefit from a little tea made out of pine. So I'm going to collect some of that today. I also get out here because it makes me feel so much healthier. Um, emotionally, spiritually, and even physically to get my feet out here on the ground as often as I can. Getting into nature is a huge thing for health. Staying grounded, staying in that connection with Mother Nature. Because honestly, I believe that she has everything that we need to stay healthy and happy in our lives. So I'm going to go on and climb to the top now. And when we when I get up there, I will show you what it looks like. Hi guys, here I am at the top. You can see behind me, that's the Clark's Fork Valley with the river behind it. And as I kind of move around, we're looking at hills to the south and to the west. And to the north, it's this beautiful magical place up here. It's not that big, but not very many people come up here. We've got amazing rocks to climb on. I don't there's none right nearby, but we'll find some. And beautiful ancient limber pine trees and a few ponderosas tossed in. So here's my favorite ones. See that one right there? It's not very big because the climate up here is harsh. We get, I don't know, just a maybe 10, 12 inches of rain a year, probably less last summer. So the trees grow really slow. So this tree could have, oh gosh, I don't know, 100 years on it, maybe more. And still, it's not that big. Here, we're getting a little closer now. And I just feel like, the trees up here that is, have survived this so long have persevered through fires and drought are full of magic and sometimes I like to come up here and just put my hand on it. I can feel it. I can feel the emotion and magic in this tree. This is a beautiful healing experience to just take time to come out and be with nature for a little while. I just wanted to give you another chance to see oh, the sun's kind of at a bad angle. Some of the beauty up here. Amazing rock formations. Amazing views. I mean, you can just feel the magic of this place. I'm gonna walk over here a little bit. We have um, an amazing, great, wonderful view of the Pryor Mountains. There's some really cool rocks. People come up here, you can see, everybody can feel the magic. There's writing on some of these rocks, a little graffiti. Um, a lot of times uh, we have found some um, Native American old, paintings on the rocks, carvings. Everyone's attracted to the same places through the generations. So if you find graffiti on rocks, a lot of times if you look closely, you're going to find some more historical or even ancient writing on the rocks. There in the distance, you can see that right there, way out there, is a big prior mountain. And to the left, I guess that's Little Prior Mountain. Way down to the south are the Bighorns. And I can't really see them today, but you can really take in some of the beautiful foothills out there. Um, you guys, 
this kind of stuff is everywhere in Montana. It's right out my back door. But man, if you live in Billings, you've got tons of beautiful parks to go to and see cool rocks and absorb the nature. It's all connected, you know? Staying well and being healthy, it has to do with what you eat. It has to do with what you put in your body. But it also has to do with your spirit and your mind. So connect with the earth. Give yourself that gift. Get out there and do what you can to make yourself feel whole. Have a great day, you guys. Happy Monday.